Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So finally, Samsung have started rolling out One UI 6.0 beta version officially in India. Basically, this is beta 2 update, which is given to Indian users. Samsung released beta 2, which comes as beta 1 for Indian users. But changes are exactly same what we have seen on second beta for other countries. And in this video, we'll talk about all the changes what Samsung have done with the beta 2 update, which is beta 1 for Indian users. So now without wasting any more time, let's dive into the video so here i have my samsung s23 ultra first of all let me show you the software information if i go to about section here you can see devices s23 ultra under software information one ui 6.0 which comes with first september 2023 security patch and as said it's the same version zwho which is released to other countries also also guys to know each and every change what samsung have introduced with beta 1 before watching this video which is of beta 2 make sure to watch the video which is being displayed on the screen i'll put up that link in the description below that includes all the features in this video we'll only be covering changes what are made on beta 2 instead of again repeating the same stuff which we have already covered and now before starting the video if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing also if you guys want to try out one ui 6 the installation process is quite easy you just have to open the samsung members app and here in the notification pop-up you will find one ui beta program you just have to tap on it and participate once you do that just open software update section and you should have an ot update of one ui 6.0 now let's talk about the changes what samsung have done so compared to beta 1 there's nothing changed in the quick setting panel but when it comes to notifications now the icons present on the notifications matches the app icon to easily identify the application notification you have received and also each notification now appears as a separate card making easier to distinguish individual notifications also on the previous build predictive gesture wasn't working but now it seems to be working with the settings page by default this thing will be turned off you have to enable developer option and search for predictive back animation you need to enable this thing first and now you can see predictive back animation in action in the settings page Still Samsung apps are not supported but it works in the settings page. Also with this beta 2, now Samsung have added ability to use both the hands while dragging around the items from the home screen and few other applications which we'll talk about them in the later part. First we'll talk about the home screen. So here you can see I have a widget, I can just hold this and then use my other finger or the other hand to navigate to different pages and this is not only limited to widgets you can do that with folders apps etc and as said now this drag and drop feature using other hand is implemented in more applications so if you take one example let's take this calendar application where you can also move the events with two hands in day or week view so here you can see i have an upcoming event if i long press on it i can move it to different hours and i also have the ability to move it to different days according to my requirement i can move this even to a different date or time with the use of second hand and these gestures looks kind of similar to ios and the same implementation you can also find it in the samsung internet application where you can touch and hold the bookmark or the tab you wish to move with one hand also another change what you will see and that's in the gallery application so as per the change logs now we should have an trash feature which is implemented with files application but here on indian unit i am getting to see this recycle bin but i've seen in different countries they get to see trash instead of recycle bin so for example if i have deleted any image from the gallery this recycle bin will also appear in the my file section if i go to recycle bin here you can see the similar image which i have deleted from gallery and gallery also have the support of touch and hold the image and you can use your second hand to move it to different application or save it in the notes also when it comes to beta 2 samsung have added this powerful video editing tool called studio so as you can see here it's an application which can help you edit your videos on the go it can also be used directly from the gallery application also we do have a native app also for this where you get the options to add different layers images videos text you can also add stickers here and it's similar to other editing tools whenever you add text video it creates a different layer you can also make adjustment in the audio you can increase or decrease the speed of the video and there are also pre-installed filters which you can use if you want you can download filters from the galaxy store and as said you can trigger this application from gallery itself if you go to gallery tap on the settings icon and here you can see you have an option to go to studio by tapping on it from here you can start the project and another change is layer to samsung pass 
so i personally don't use that but as per the change log they say now you can use the pass keys to sign into supported apps and website i've never used samsung pass but i'll try to use after this update and let you know guys in our upcoming video of one ui 6.0 next change what you'll see that's layer 2 camera application so if you guys remember samsung had this ability to switch between front and back camera just by sliding the screen but now they have also added this option where you can turn off this thing so that you don't accidentally switch between front or back camera so once it is disabled now you can't switch between cameras just by sliding on the screen and the last change is layer 2 samsung health application so this app got revamped now you get to see bold font and different colors to see information you need the most your exercise results will be displayed on the top side and now they have also added an option to customize the water cup size which you can do it from water section tapping here so for example one glass equals 250 ml you can customize it as per your requirement now you can make it whatever you want depending on the water intake you do every day or you wants to do every day so guys these are all the changes what we have noticed with beta 2 for samsung s23 ultra if you guys still have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video Sitting on, man, I still go, 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 go.